Hello, everybody. It's Jaguar Bubbles, and welcome. Charge. That was my phone notification. <laughs> welcome to Coffee Chat, a thing where I speed draw, draw, and kind of have some commentary. Now, if you guys want me to kind of discuss any video games, any art things, or anything, make sure to leave that down below. I would love to discuss it and kind of see what you guys think about this. Today, I'm going to be talking about art tips. I actually did upload a video about uh, kind of my old art and stuff. You can definitely see it was definitely a process. And it would have really helped if maybe I did a little more looking into kind of tips and stuff. And I feel like there's a big stigma, especially within the quote-unquote self-taught artist community about getting help and techniques, tips, all that stuff. And I have to say that I've succumbed to it too a little bit. I was looking at stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm new to virtual art and I was noticing that my coloring looked a bit off. And so I learned from Instagram and also a Pinterest video that came up that was called rendering. And so I was watching this video and the artist goes over some tips on how to start rendering. And I had this feeling like, uh, should I really be watching this? I mean, does that kind of get rid of the self time? No, no, it is not bad to learn from somebody else. Now there's a difference in learning from somebody else and practicing on your skills and then straight up copying. <laughs> but it's not bad to learn. It's not bad to get tips and everybody starts from somewhere. And a lot of self taught artists will tell you that it took a lot of progress and if you do have tips it'll probably better your art a lot sooner it will definitely take a lot of willpower to continue going through the hobby i've seen a lot of skilled artists they're like yeah it, it, it's hard i wanted to give up a uh, tens of thousands of times and know that you know you are progressing no matter how fast or slow it may seem what helps me kind of track my progress or kind of look at stuff have this clipboard that is kind of like a nice little thing that you can draw on every year around Christmas time slash the new year time I would add another piece to it uh, for that year. For example, if that didn't make sense right there, I would draw my character or myself. So I would see, oh, okay, my eyes have changed the way I draw noses, the way I draw hair. Or maybe you can have a book and just going through the old pages will help you be like, you know what? I am improving. Do not think it's bad to get tips or advice and do not think it's bad if you don't automatically like, you know, know how to art. And most of all, do not compare yourself. If you compare yourself, no, no. Like, stop doing that. Everybody is on their own own track. See, now I have kind of a more defined style than I used to have, but that took way just so many years, guys. And you want to know, I had like a stick man slash kind of deflated balloon kind of thing when I started. Now, how do you, how do you go? Like, how do you, how do you start? It all comes back to ideas. Ideas. What do you want to draw? What's your creative process look like? And a lot of times you're gonna be hit by a wall. And this is called art block. And it happens way too often. Art block is where you literally have no ideas, zero motivation, and it's just like, I'm just sitting here on my boat and I'm not really doing much. I don't know what that example was, but it sure was. But make sure if you are starting to trace to kind of get that mem muscle memory down that is entirely okay but do not absolutely copy line for line a artist's artwork and then post it claiming it as your own and if you are looking to trace again for that muscle memory i would recommend doing it from photo images i recommend this for a few reasons a lot of artists work years and years or even months on curating a style to their specific interests and all that stuff. And because of that, a lot of artists do not like tracing of their artwork. And it'd be a little hypocritical if I said I support this because I certainly am one of those artists. And also, if you work with your own photo or a reference photo, it has the potential ability of helping you even more. Why I think this, and this isn't research back, this is just straight up Jaguar Bubbles opinions, is because 
while you're tracing that one artist's photo and how they got there, and that may help you with shapes, you know, getting that circle, that line down, how to do that particular curve. If you take it from the photo, you can see more detail and you will begin to see creases and different types of lines that you may or may not have been able to see if you were just simply tracing or looking at another artist. Uh, kind of stuff. Now, if you're trying to go for a specific style, say comic, anime, then there's particular guides for that. But if you're beginning to go into art and kind of just want your own style, want to get better, want to improve, I recommend this. And I recommend it because it's what I did. I used to be, ugh, like drawing stuff in real life is so boring. But then once I actually started to do it, I found, okay, well, you know what? It helped me. It helped me a little bit so I pushed I pushed it all aside I was like okay I'm gonna do this and it's gonna look a little bit uncomfortable if you do uh, base it off of some objects in real life sometimes it looks natural sometimes it looks weird and it definitely again is a process but you will find if you are looking at a specific especially photo reference it helps and improves and I don't know what the science is behind that there probably is and I'd be intrigued to look into it which I probably am now because I'm going on a whole rant I'm like really passionate about this <laughs> apparently but yeah I would just recommend it and I know I'm not like the best most uh, artist out there and I will have to accredit that to I haven't been doing photo reference lately or working on that kind of realism sort of stuff but even though you may be looking at not necessarily a real realism style it does help the base it gets you an idea of shape and then you can build on that creatively you can start to make ocs what does that stand for original characters and it's just getting that base because it starts with the sketch and then you do a harder copy and then you do line art and then you do color and so exactly like what the process would be for the entire art thing is the process that you need to practice you gotta start with the basics everyone can draw stick figures so that may be step one and then you look at an actual person and kind of imitate those lines people always come to me and this is, happens with other artists too because i see it on social media and they say oh i can only draw a stick figure which i know this sounds ironic coming from an artist but no you can actually draw more than you know if you look at a simple photo or photograph something like that you'll be able to draw a rectangle maybe an upside down triangle for the torso rectangle for the hips just two four lines for the legs you can come up with something it's just do you want to progress on that in summary at the beginning motivation may be low but you have to continue through of course don't overwork yourself to a point of burnout that's not great of course take breaks but make sure to push yourself even though you may want to quit and make sure to keep some sort of progress maybe a journal to see where you've gone or maybe how many days you've been doing art and if you're going to pursue art and want to get better and use references i recommend photo references or in real life reference and yeah that pretty much sums up this video which is kind of crazy because i did not know i was so passionate about this and boom um this is actually a pretty fun series to record so I'm definitely gonna have to keep up on this. I'm working on a lot of projects, so subscribe to see more if you're interested. Coffee chat is gonna go over a lot of stuff and maybe have a few guests. So again, subscribe to see more of that and I'm hopefully gonna do more speed art soon. Check out my other social media platforms in the description and thank you so much for your support. Questions about Jesus, make sure to comment down below or on the Discord. I really, really wanna talk about the important things and that's one of them. So so yeah, thank you guys for watching, supporting, and I hope you have a blessed day sweet as blueberry pie. That's all for me and coffee chat, and bye bye